everybody, it's Omniz from Omniz Gaming, and we are going to be starting our Nuzlocke Challenge. <clears throat> I'm pretty pumped about it. Never done a Nuzlocke Challenge before, and what better time to do a Nuzlocke Challenge than with the new Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there are three real simple rules for the Nuzlocke Challenge. There's some other ones, but we're not following all of them, we're just going to do the big main ones. First, any Pokemon that faints must be released. And yes, we are going to release them because they are considered dead. Number two, you may only catch the very first Pokemon you run into on a route. Only the first one. You may not capture um, any other ones you see. If you knock it out on accident, too bad. You must go with it. And finally, because we are going to be all hardcore mode, we have to nickname all of our Pokemon to make it super sad if they die. So, with that being said, let's uh, not waste any more time and just get right into this guy. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. Are you Birch? But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Nobody calls you that. Oh, and this? This is what we call a Pokemon. Oh. That's a good story. We're in a trap. Just like before. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times playing together as friends, and at times helping uh, one another out. And sometimes we just like to have fun battling others like us. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. I do research to try to unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough about me. The grass is moving. It's a bird. That's a bird Pokemon. What about you? What about me, Birch? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Um... Am I a boy or am I a girl? Let me check. Yep, boy. Will you give me your name too? Man, you are demanding. Your name! Oh, that's not my name. My name is... Um, oh, Omner. Um, Myth. Um, Myth. That's me. So you're Um Myth. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Do you? Do you, Bertie? Birchy, birchy. You're that Omnith. What Omnith is that? Is there another Omnith? They're the one who's moving to Little Root Town, where I live. Oh my god, you're creeping me out. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams and adventures await you. I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Oh, I will. Pokemon Professor. I will. And here we are. Back of the truck. Moving on. Is it a bird? It's a plane? This is what we call a Pokemon. Omnith, you're here at last! That's what mom sounds like. Wasn't it a... Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumpy... Oh my god, I can't do that. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumpy moving truck all that way? Yeah, why'd you stick me there? You're so cruel. Well, this is Little Town. 
What do you think? This is going to be our new home! Temporarily before you go on your journey. Has, has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? I don't know, I'm leaving quick. Soon. And you get your own room this time, Omnith. Whee! Come on, you have to see the inside. You get ten minutes in our new home. See, Omnith, isn't it nice in here, too? <laughs> moving companies, Pokemon, even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a cinch. Growl, growl, growl. That's what I'd say. Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Gua, gua, gua. <laughs> Growl, growl, growl. <laughs> they sound upset. You should go out and see your new room upstairs, Omnith. Dad even bought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. Okay, bye. I just like... I get, a, I get the whole upstairs. The whole upstairs is my room. The clock on the wall isn't moving. You got to set the time. The hour hand was set to 19 and the minute hand to 09. Yep. How do you like your new room, Omnith? Good, everything's put away neatly. Finish moving everything in downstairs, too. It's really so <laughs> it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. On the desk. Omnith's um, notebook is full of adventure rules. He jotted down. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu with the X button. Adventure rule number two. Record your progress with save. It's all the notes he wrote. All the notes. Oh, Omnith, Omnith, quick, come quickly. Okay. It's the Pedalberg Gym! Oh wait, so that's her voice. It's the Pedalberg Gym! Maybe that'll be on TV! Interviewer. We brought you this report live from in front of Pedalberg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. It's like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me, one of dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. I should. Okay, let's go over next door and introduce ourselves. Oh, hello, and you are? The two old. <laughs> oh, you're Omnith, our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. What are you saying? She's been so excited about making a new friend. Mm hmm. <laughs> she should be in a room upstairs. I hope you go and introduce yourself. I probably shouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> You have a clock too. Pokemon fully restored, items all ready, and... Huh? Who are you? I thought she took a really deep breath there. Oh, you must be Omnith. <laughs> Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I actually have this dream of becoming friends with all... with Pokemon all over the world. And then when Dad, oh, I mean Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Omnith, well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. I'm not very nice. I'm a very mean fellow. But th that's just silly, isn't it? Eh, <laughs> face. <laughs> I've just met you, right, Omnith? Nope. We've known each other for quite a while. You and I go way back. So what am I talking about? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. 
you have a real flight from memory. Were you just like, did you forget before you were preparing to leave? Omnith, I'll see you later. Bye. Just gonna explore your room. It's a Wii U. It has a gamepad with a screen. <laughs> Subtle. Dad might like this program. Better get going. What is, is that a bow? Ooh, what's in a trash can? It's empty. What's on her desk? There are some notes on the page, written in a cute round script. This will be on the next test. Each Pokemon can learn up to four moves. Which moves you teach a Pokemon will show in how good of a trainer you are. Yeah. What time does her clock say? It's a pretty cute wall clock. I was way excited about that. It's such a cute clock! Okay, what does this guy have to say? Mm, in your Nintendo 3DS is in sleep mode. The power of science is staggering. Professor Birch will spend days on end in his lab researching something. Then he'll suddenly go out in the field to gather more data. When does he ever spend time at home? I, I don't know. You stalk him so much. What do you have to say, little kid? Bidink! I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Let's do it. Help me! Hello! You over there! Please help me out! In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. And here's where we choose our starters. We have the Grass-type Pokemon, Trico. The Fire-type Pokemon, Torchic. And the Water-type Pokemon, Mudkip. Now, I don't get to pick which Pokemon I get because that's how this is gonna work. So I got a yeah, six-sided dice here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll. One and two is Trico. Three and four is gonna be Torchic. Five and six is a Mudkip. So, let's give her a roll. It looks like we're doing Trico. Yay, he's cool. Poochiana use tackle. Too bad your tackle isn't as powerful as my pound. Ow. I use tackle again. This is a very original battle. Do another pound. I'm gonna beat you in the face. You fainted. Because that's why. 24 XP. I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. You're not very smart for a professor. Oh, but you're Norman's boy, Omnith. I didn't even realize who you were at first. I gave him more epic voice. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't a place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. That's his walking noise. So, Omnith, I've heard so much about you from your father. Yeah. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? <gasps> I got Trico! I didn't know that was going to happen. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Sure. Yup, that's the spirit, so what kind of name will you go with? And... Donnie. Good 
because he, for some reason, reminds me of Donatello. I don't, don't ask why. <laughs> you know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl, May, happens to be out on Route 103, or 103, or 103, right now, surveying Pokemon for me. Route 103 for me. It may not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? No. No. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Fine. <laughs> Great. I'm sure May will be happy to hear that, too. She can help te teach you what it means to be a trainer. <laughs> oh, yes. And if you're ever lost along the way, use the Area Nav on your Pokenav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where May ought to be. Man, he's rhyming that crap. She went to Route 103 for me, for me, where May ought to be on Route 103. <laughs> uh, rap. That's my second job. I'm a rapper. <laughs> if you or your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new home. House. Back at my new house. A house of new. Hello? Professor Birch is studying the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys my help too, though. Oh, too. There's a lot of love there. What a weird thing to say about your boss. Man, he really loves his daughter. <laughs> That's a good story. Why are there flowers over here? Is there something? What's in, this? What's in the trees? What's in the trees? All these random... All these random flowers. Oh yeah, and since uh, I don't have any Pokeballs yet, we won't count the first Pokemon I meet until I can capture it. So, because that would suck. Wimple. But Donnie is boss mode, and Donnie is going to pound his worm. Um, ignore that. That was a critical hit. Way to go, Johnny! Johnny, pound it harder! Oh my god, I can't stop it. <laughs> so bad joke. <laughs> Wimple, use tackle! Johnny, pound it! And this is where the Wimple faints and goes limp. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Level 6, all them stats. <laughs> Ooh, Hoochiena. Hoochiena, king for more. What's the matter? Level 2? I'm gonna get such the advantage over May when she tries to battle me with her torture. Down again, 16 X points. Alright, let's go. Moving on. What do you have to say? If your Pokemon get tired, take them to the Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Ordale Town right close by. It's a good story. I made it through the grass. Oh, run to person, run to him quickly. Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer. Thanks. Am I right? Okay. <laughs> Being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. Shop in my store. <laughs> First of all, that's a Pokemart there. Just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. <gasps> I'd like you to have these as part of a special promotion. Potions. I'm going to need those. I'm going to put the potions in the medicine pocket. I can read. Potions can be used anytime, so they can be very useful to have. And this is a Pokemon Center. Look for the red roof. Ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That's the advice from me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a great journey. Does he do that to every random person that walks in, I wonder? I want to know where did the moving truck drive from? Because it looked pretty limited in there. Can you heal my Pokemon? He said to ask a woman. 
Just as with Pokem or Poke people, there are male and female Pokemon, but the details of the differences can be tough to nail down. Uh, the Aha Pokemon Journal on the show provides in, uh, sources. It's different. True fact, according to me. That PC in the corner there is for any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. Naturally. Pokemon centers are great. You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all for free. You never have to worry. I do. Uh, my Pokemon are gonna die. Good evening. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yep. Donnie's tired. Help Donnie out. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Eee. Continuing my journey. Like the Pokemart dude said to. This way. Ah, wait! Please don't wander around here. I've just discovered a set of incredibly rare Pokemon prints. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Okay. Barging into random homes. Knock knock, who's there? When a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the top left of the list goes out first. Try switching around the order your Pokemon are in according to the situation. It could give you an advantage. Yay. Advantages are good. Advantages are advantageous. Can I have more potions? Potions can be used any time, so they can be very useful to have. Okay. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. Good idea. Let's do that. I saved the game. Barging into random people's homes again. Pokemon grow stronger by battling and leveling up. The stronger your Pokemon become, the farther you'll be able to travel. Yay! I love traveling further. Yay! Route 103. May! May! Hey, May! I can rhyme like your dad. Let's see, on Rod 103 I found this Pokemon. And this one, and this one too. Oh, hey Omnith! What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't you go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Challenge by May. Sends out Tarchek. You would. Well, I'm sending out Donnie! Donnie, pound the birdie! I'm risking it right now. Donnie, use Leer. Ooh, super cool. Oh, crap. Now I'm behind. Of course you're gonna critical hit me. It's too bad your defense is crappy. Did I make a mistake? Uh-oh. I'm a little scared. Oh my god. Donnie's gonna win the battle right now. Yeah. Good job, Donnie. Don't scare me like that, you fool. Level seven. Them stats. You defeated Pokemon Trainer May. Mm hmm. Wow, that's great. I'm with you're pretty good. She pays out a lot of money. Two hundred Poke Dollars. All those Poke Dollars. It was a good battle, thanks. Let me heal up both our parties real quick. The team's health is restored. Good. Wow, I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon. You've already got a bo uh, blah 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 blah. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew. I guess I better head back to the lab. You should. Back to the labyrinth. 
Laboratory. One of the real old girls home. Ooh, what do you have to say? Press the circle pad slowly to sneak close to Pokemon. Pokemon are less likely to find you while you're sneaking up on them. But Professor Birch wrote, the field work one one said so. Sneaky, sneaky. Can't wait to get my first Pokemon. Did she kill my Pokemon? Yep, Donnie is happy. Happy, healthy Donnie. Oh, it's over here. Let's hurry back to Little Root. Okay. You're running much faster than I am. Much faster. Oh, Omnith, over here. Oh, wait, I wonder if that was her that said that. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. Omnith, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Professor Oak probably gave that to you. He's a real Pokemon prof. That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a, po a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why? She comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. Pokemon and people you will meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Arg! <laughs> I'm getting the itch to get out and do field work again. Oh, wow, Omnith. Now you've got a Pokedex, too. That's great, just like me. Like, okay, is it great that I have a Pokedex, or... Wait. Uh, I'll give you something, too. Some Pokeballs that you can catch. Wild Pokemon. You catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will go stronger for you. Take that as a bit of, it's a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Roots soon myself. Can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys, Omnith. Okay. Let's do our best on our journeys, Omnith. I'm going to save. <laughs> I get to catch a Pokemon. I go say bye to mom, but I know what happens. Omnith, wait! Mommy? Omnith, Omnith, did you introduce us to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from the professor? How nice! You are your father's child, alright. You look good together with a Pokemon. Do you think that you have your own Pokemon now? Your father will be overjoyed. You don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. I'm not sure what she's doing right there. But okay. I like how there was no mention of the fact that I'm going to be going on some sort of journey. It's just like, I'm just leaving. I'm not. This is from my daddy's editor. To give it to you before. Mmm, Pokemon. This is upgraded. The app I just added to your Pokemon Plus is called the DexNav. I'll tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have when you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. Alright, guess it's time. about time I use the Dex and I have to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Um, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. That's right, we're going to catch our first Pokemon. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, 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 come on, I want to catch the Pokemans. Yes! Bug! Everybody knows Bug is the best. Bug the best. Bestie Bugs. Alright, we're gonna catch Wormple. Pound it! Pound the worm! Whew. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it. I don't wanna knock it out. Pokeball, go! Come on, Pokeball, capture it! Yeah! Wimple! 
Our team is one Pokemon stronger. Okay, half a Pokemon stronger. The level two Wormpole. No registration complete. Wormpole is, a tar is targeted by Swallow as prey. Oh, good. <laughs> Pokemon will try to resist by pointing the spikes on its rear at the attacking predator, but weaken the foe by leaking poison from the spikes. Give a nickname, yes we will. Um, we will call him Squiggles. Oops. Oh yeah, Squiggles. Alright, looks like we got us a Squiggles. We'll switch Squiggles. Actually, I'm gonna keep, keep Donnie up there. For the forced meeting up here soon. Omnith over here! See that right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Mmm, Pokemon hiding there. And look here, if you check your dex now. Alright, looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. Omnith! Check it in closer, real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circle pad to sneak close to Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it said in a book I read. You're almost there. Slowly. Slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. I think I'm just gonna beat the crap out of it. Oh wait. Oh wait, yeah, this is... Um, Donny pound the pochi. <laughs> oh boy. Keep pounding pochi. Howling at me. Donnie's the boss. The boss. Come on, Donnie, beat it. Beat the boss. We're gonna win this fight. Win the fight. Critical hit. Fainted. Yes, Donnie's level eight. Donnie is level eight. That was amazing, Omnith. I've been at this way longer than you, and I even I had a hard time sneaking. That's it. Well, sorry about that. It's uncontrollable. <laughs> I sneeze when I sense bullshit. Ah, uh, goodbye, man. Do 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 do. Good evening. Just about my own channel. Heal it. Make me feel better. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Oh, you will. You will. Alright, everybody. I think this is going to be what we'll have to call the first episode. Let me know what you're thinking. So far, we've got the amazing Donnie and the partway amazing Squiggles. Um, let me know what you think of the series so far. Give me a like if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Share with a friend if you'd like. And thank you all for watching. So I will see you all later.